Welcome to Mindnificent. In today's video, we're taking a look at speed reading and giving you a few pearls of wisdom to up your game. So, you're a bit of a slow reader. You've heard all about speed reading and think, hey, that's an idea right there. The truth is that you're about as likely to read thousands of words a minute as you are to run around the block at the speed of light. But that doesn't mean there aren't a few brain hacks, a few tips and tricks to improve your reading game while still retaining all the important info. What is speed reading? The written word is a funny thing. Most people think they read in a straight line, and once they get to the end, stop, move their eyes down and to the left, and begin a new line. Well, you don't. It's a series of movements or jumps called saccades. Think of them as a GIF or moving picture. It's not a real video, but a series of still images in a sequence that gives the impression that you're looking at true motion. Only your brain fills in the gaps. These saccades are actually snapshots of your vision around the size of a coin, areas of focus that you fixate on for less than half a second before moving on to the next one. As a little exercise, close one of your eyes and place your finger gently on your closed eyelid. Track your vision as it moves along a horizontal line, and you'll actually feel your eye skipping as it makes small distinct movements, stopping to focus on each as it goes from left to right. Speed reading is not about focusing on just what's in each of these coin-sized saccade screenshots, but improving your peripheral vision range to include more words within the focus range. What it isn't The big secret isn't that speed readers necessarily read and comprehend words at a drastically increased rate compared to the average reader. It's a case of tuning your fine motor skills and the way you read to increase efficiency. Think of it like two drivers in exactly the same car. Same engine, same weight, everything identical except for the skill of the drivers themselves. Now, it's reasonable to assume that a trained race car driver could complete a much quicker lap time than the other driver used to motoring around town. They have no experience on the racetrack. Both are capable drivers, only one has the skill set to really get the most out of the horsepower they have. Speed reading is exactly the same. The brain is the engine, and with a bit of racing training, you can learn to use that engine to its fullest capacity and squeeze every bit of juice you can out of it, all the while taking the racing line and knowing how to tackle corners and bends at high speed. It's important to remember that speed reading does not equal skim reading. The Technique There is something called the PX Project. It's a cognitive experiment that increases the average reading speed of participants by 386%. With enough practice, certain individuals have clock speeds of almost 3,000 words per minute, which is absolutely insane. That's around 10 pages a minute or a page every 6 seconds. It seems unbelievable when you consider that reading at 400 words per minute puts you in the top 1 percentile of the population. The PX project teaches you how to more efficiently view saccades, as well as prevent a cognitive process called regression. You might have experienced this before, where you don't fully understand something and before you know it, you're reading that line again. It's a consciously driven process and one that's common amongst the average reader. Then there is backskipping, which is a different kettle of fish entirely. You're totally unaware of this process but your subconscious constantly skips back to previous saccades and rereads that particular snapshot. This occurs when there is a misplacement of fixation, a saccade out of order, so the brain backpedals a step and goes over a particular part of the text again so it reads rationally and makes sense. These processes of regression and backskipping occur for roughly 30% of the duration of your reading time, and by eliminating these processes alone, there is a massive efficiency gain. At its core, the PX project doesn't teach comprehensive reading, but it does stamp out poor reading habits and really lets you make the most of that engine sitting between your ears. The protocol consists of four distinct phases that all occur separate to each other for a reason. This is about hacking the brain and improving how it works. Literally anyone can do it, and it's a technique that is helpful for anyone from those suffering from dyslexia all the way up to experienced bookworms. It's a bit like learning to catch a ball. Your brain knows how to identify the action that has to be taken, moving your hand to where the ball will be. The process of completing the task, 
closing your hand around the ball, and the way to successfully complete the task, watching the ball's trajectory. Despite this, no one can catch a ball on their first try. It's impossible. Pathways have to be built, motor skills have to be trained, and muscle memory has to be developed in order to put all these things together and actually catch the ball. Like anything, practice makes perfect, and reading is no exception. Phase 1. Determining a Baseline So, first point of call, knowing how fast you can read. Lay a practice book out on the table and count the number of words in five lines of text. Divide this number by five and you have the average word count per line. Counting the number of lines of five pages and then dividing that number by five gives the average lines per page. Multiple page line average by average word count per line and you get the average number of words per page. Simple enough. Time yourself for one minute of regular paced reading, making sure you're comprehending everything you're reading. This is your current words per minute. It's an important number, so note it down. Phase 2. Trackers and Pacers Think back to when you first learnt to read. Did you use a pencil or finger to track along the line as you read? This was a visual guide to track your eye to accurately focus on each saccade in sequence. Time to go back to school. Grab a pen, lay it flat on the page, and try reading the same text again, following the words with the pen as you read. Focus on the tip of the pen and read as fast as you're able to without worrying about comprehension. This is a speed exercise. Keep up the pace and go faster and faster until you can read a line in under half a second. Once you hit this mark, maintain the speed for three minutes. Phase 3. Expanding Perception Gamers are good at this part, as they're able to keep track of what's going on around the screen while also focusing on what they're controlling in the center. This is the same concept. Untrained readers spend half their saccade time by focusing on the first and last word on the saccade margins, when they could just use their peripheral vision. Using the pen again, read at half a second per line, but this time start on the second word and finish on the second to last word. Do this for three minutes. Likewise, repeat this exercise, but for this three minute stint, start with the third word in and finish on the third to last word. Phase four, recalculation. This is where we repeat phase one again, reading as fast as possible for one minute while still comprehending everything that's on the page. This is your new words per minute, and whether it's a small or a large increase, most people will almost certainly improve on their first try. Homework. You can repeat the PX project process as often as you like, depending on how dedicated you are and the results you want to achieve. Your eyes and brain are like a muscle Train them enough and you'll increase strength and dexterity. Catch that ball. With enough practice, you'll find that you can easily triple your reading speed. Congratulations, you're now a speed reader. The silver lining is that comprehending at this increased speed has another benefit. Simply reading the same material three times over in the space it would normally take you to read it once, exponentially increase your retention of the information contained in the text and your ability to recall it from memory, especially useful for those studying. That's all we have time for today. Have you used a similar technique before to increase your reading speed? Let us know how the PX Project method worked for you in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to our channel and hit on that bell notification button as more magnificent content is on the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.